Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you first trading day of June. Uh, interesting one. Obviously, uh, some crazy stuff going on in the U.S. with these riots. I started risk off. Um, but Asia turned around. Liquidity has been lower. Today's Pentecost, for those of you who aren't religious, uh, it's the seventh Sunday after Easter. Allegedly, the Holy Spirit came down from somewhere um, and visited Jesus' disciples. Looks like he bought some Aussie as well uh, on this Pentecost. Um, bit surprised, but I guess I shouldn't be. Let's look at that Aussie. Uh, a couple things happened. A lot of us got short Aussie yen on Friday up at up at 90. And there was obviously concerns about U.S.-China feud. So the market in general is short Aussie. Uh, during my prep yesterday, I was thinking, man, 66.83 is a, is a nice break trade. It'll probably go over RBA tomorrow morning so I got time considering we opened pretty bearish uh, anyway a few hours later bang missed it uh, so not only am I not long Aussie dollar uh, we got stopped out of our Aussie yen 200 days at 72.10 if you're still short Aussie yen I just kind of have to ask you why um, chart says be long um, I don't care what Trump says I don't care what's happening in China uh, market obviously is short this and nobody's long right I'm not long are you long I don't think anybody's long um, so anyway where do we go from here we're, uh, we're square Aussie for now um, does Kiwi have to play catch up New Zealand was on holiday today they're uh, they're celebrating this Pentecost Christian Pentecost thing, so they were kind of absent from all of this. Kiwi's lagging. Let's look at Aussie Kiwi just to prove it to you. Kiwi's lagging a bit. Should we buy some Kiwi? Probably. We have um, we have sixty two thirty eight. You see how Aussie Kiwi is quite a bullish day today. Um, Kiwi's lagging. Buying Kiwi seems seems interesting to me. So, you know, you want to kind of buy here between 40 and 10. Um, and you want to keep your eye on the stock market, which is doing just fine. I think we're at uh, 40 right now. Um, and keep an eye on Aussie. Aussie remains bid 67.24. So buying Kiwi looks okay today. So we'll be on the buy side. Kiwi. The other risk-off metric that looks marginally interesting is CAD yen. This chart. We've seen this chart in CAD yen, Kiwi yen, Aussie yen, um, Euro yen. We did not look at topside sterling yen. Uh, all the yen crosses look bid. Dollar yen is not collaborating, but it could at any moment. Um, this is an interesting chart. We traded 59 in Asia. So it's th it was through the 50 high. We like CAD yen as a vehicle uh, for risk on today on the currency side. We're going to be dabbling. Um, we're going to be dabbling all the way down to 20 and we will add through 59 CAD yen. What else is going on? Uh, Euro dollar, we had bids at 93, not done, 73, not done, 53, not done. I imagine the entire world also had those same orders. Euro's bid, we're expecting a range today, nothing crazy. We have ECB on Thursday. Um, but we do have these European PMIs today, so they could surprise to the top side. I doubt they could surprise to the downside, everyone's expectations are so low. Um, so, Euro's bid. Other Euro crosses, if you're still short Euro Swiss from 20 um, on Friday, 
I'd be careful with this now. Uh, we're in the middle of the range, but um, the risk on fears have are subsiding. Riots aside, uh, if PMIs are strong, Euro yen, uh, Euro Swiss will also pop. Euro yen remains on its highs. This was stubborn. This one was stubborn at that 119 handle um, Friday, but ended up ripping with that dollar yen fix move. It's getting extended here. We're getting a little bit, you know, getting a little bit worried about the top side. Uh, but because euro is so big, you want to wait. You want to sell this maybe up at 121, um, not at 119.80. No, no trade in euro yen. Dollars are, uh, this is a bit of a worry with all of this risk on. We like core long. Tactically, the book uh, is square. You know, we got paid long on Friday. We got paid one final time with that move up to 65 on the fix. Um, if this is risk on, got to be careful here. There will be stops below 60.30. We've already made a new daily low. People are short risk still, scratching their heads. Uh, so this could easily fall lower. Check out dollar max, and you can see that um, dollar EM in general. If we surprise on the top side here today on this sort of Pentecosty day. Um, dollar max has ways to go lower if he gets through 22 and it looks like that's on the cards anyway um, dollar cad not too much to do we kind of got through these lows and then it kind of bounced still offered um, middle of nowhere not much to do euro cad nothing to do but we are every day reminding ourselves of this level, 150, 50. This is a good level. There's money. There'll be money to be made down there. Cable. We got Brexit negotiations this week. So be lots of stupid headlines. Middle of nowhere. Not much to do. Uh, dollar yen. Middle of nowhere. Not much to do. How shitty is dollar yen? That said. A lot of people are going to look at this as a head and shoulders, right? Shoulder here to the left, head here, shoulder here. This fucked up bar, yes, on Friday, God knows. Um, there'll be money to be made at 108.10. Let's put it that way. Um, I'm not bullish or bearish dollar yen, but this is going to break one side or the other. Obviously, the downside did not break. Will they attack the top side? I don't know. These yen crosses are kind of bid. Uh, they could drag further. The market is short risk. Let's face it. Everyone's dying to sell. Dying, dying, dying to sell. Guess what? That bar on Friday was bullish. Today at 3041, there's absolutely nothing to do. If you want to sell, wait for sort of one to one and a half standard deviation moves higher. Today, that's 30.75, 31 the figure. Uh, our guys in the States who do, our guy in the States who does the weekly from Chicago, he talked about it. He's very bearish between 3100 and 3130. I'm not very bearish, but tactically, I'll try a short up there. You know, I'll, I'll I have the stretch high sales in for the tactical book um, but uh, look it's bid like don't fight this the the 200 day is is your bull bear point and that's 40 handles away so wait till you get below Friday's low at the minimum to start getting bearish uh, if you're looking at a trend book and if you're looking at the tactical book sell high ones um, I don't recommend being long for obvious reasons. Um, you can go into any media outlet and look at how bearish the world is. But uh, you got to be careful being short because everyone's short. 
and everyone's short with their stops above the highs. So yes, there will be stops. You know, the high was 58 and a quarter. Friday, Thursday's high, 65. Surely we trade up to 75.80 today just to just to screw this market, don't you think? Um, you know, there's nothing logical, purely logical about trading, right? It's more of a psychological exercise. So take your big brain, put it in the cupboard, uh, and start looking at positioning and price. And you see that it's not time to be short yet. Quickly, uh, gold... I'm on my trading sermons today. I'm going to stop that. Uh, 1776 is important to us. This is sneaky bid. Uh, this is a reflection of the U.S. Uh, M3 and M2 money supply and people's worries about the world in general. Uh, tri very hard to trade, but we are watching 1776. Uh, let's see what happens. Fixed income, we don't care right now. You want to sell high ones and boons, but... At 172.30, you're, you're 200 points from high ones, right? You, you want When yield gets down towards 55 to 75 basis points, you want to sell boons. Not, not happening today. Um, Bitcoin, everyone's kind of waiting for 10.5. Uh, you just want to buy low ones on this because uh, 10.5 is going to happen. Um, don't pretend to understand Bitcoin. It's quite tricky. But uh, we do like core long Bitcoin if you can survive the vol. Listen, I've said enough. Obviously, we're looking at um, Kiwi and Cad Yen today. We're going to keep it light. There's no chips in the middle of any, any uh, table today. We'll try and get some money in the tactical book. Trend book uh, will be quiet, looks like. Good luck out there, people. Ciao.